absolutely nuts that isn't it well um yeah I, I, I don't know how to introduce this really but um i thought i'd it's six o'clock in the morning it's a wednesday and i thought i'd come down the garage because i had this great idea that uh I'm going to start doing something different. I don't know how long this will last. I don't know how well it will go. Um, but anyway, I've got a few announcements. Well, a couple of little announcements. And I, I, I just wanted to let you know what's going to be the future of this YouTube channel. So it's something a little different. Now, quite a lot of things have changed in my life the last, well, at least over the last year anyway. Coming up two years, I reckon. Um, one, decided to shave my head completely bald because uh, no grey hairs, no problems. Excuse that bit. Plenty of problems there. Um, yeah, so I've, I've decided to change things up a bit. Anyway, my life changes. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to prepare myself for this. Um, very basically, in this last month, which is we're now in... October 2022 just in case you're watching this many years in the future you never know um, I've completed finished paying my mortgage off so I'm now mortgage free which is amazing good feeling so here's my thoughts um, I, I'm just going to retire from work wow that's just a stupid thing to do I'm very nearly 50 years old so <clears throat> Why? Why the thoughts of that? So, uh, my main reason, and this is the biggest reason, is that my dad died when he was 74. He retired at 65, and he was probably ill for about the last four or five years of his life. And I don't want that. I want to do me. You know, I want some years of enjoying life. So I thought debt free, it's now, it's going to be quite a big risk. I will admit that, but I think I can do it financially. That is um, mentally. I don't know. I just mentally I'm everywhere anyway, but yeah, so I've decided to give up work. Um, I'm 50 on the 27th of February next year. So I've decided the 28th of February, which is the last day of February in 2023, is going to be my last day at work. A um, little bit of a backstory, <coughs> excuse me again, a um, little bit of a backstory to that. Um, I did think to myself, oh, wouldn't it be nice just to work three days a week? That would be amazing. So uh, with that in mind, I went and saw my boss and his name's Dave, really nice guy. Everyone knows of Dave. I know quite a few, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I went and saw my boss, Dave, and I said, uh, Dave, um, just a quick word. Uh, next year sometime, would you consider me to work three days a week? And he said, uh, no. No, can't do that. So then that made me sort of take a step back and think, uh, oh, okay. If I can't do three days a week, what am I going to do? And then I decided, you know, with the situation with my dad, I thought, do you know what? Fuck it. Let's take the risk. Let's let's risk it. What have I got to lose? I can't lose my house, can I? I'll always have that. It's mine. Sort of. It's a lot of conspiracy theory and that sort of shit, but that's just another thing. Um, yeah, so I thought, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. So now I've got it in my head. That is what I'm going to do. And, yeah, I, I think I can make a go of it. Um, Money-wise, I've got a lot of stuff stashed away. Um, call it rainy day stuff. Um, I've probably... I have had a little bit of a tot up. But I reckon I've probably got ten to £12,000 worth of stuff I could sell. Probably even more than that, come to think of it, if I start thinking of my cars as well. I've probably got about 15 to 18 grand's worth of stuff I could sell if I needed to. Now, financially, to pay the bills, I need to make five, six hundred pound a month. 
but my wife works. So if we do it a 50-50 split, I need to, let's say, find £250 a month. Easy, easy. At least I've probably got the next five, six years. If I sell stuff bit by bits, I can do it. Anyway, that's the, that's the real absolute last resort contingency plan. It won't come to that. I, I've got other things in my head. But anyway, um, that brings on a new change. Um, went out with a few mates the other night and I jumped in with someone else in a car and we went for a drive and just got chatting. Um, it's my mate Al, so if you're watching this Al, thanks for that chat. It did change a lot in my head. He said, yeah, you, you, know, you really need to start doing YouTube again. So I'm like, well, you know, yeah, okay, I, I have considered it. And he goes, no, 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 he said, everything you do, he says, just people find fascinating. He said, you know, building that orange mini, he said, it's just, just incredible. I'm like, well, I don't seem to think so. It's just one of them things. So anyway, I've had a lot of thoughts about doing YouTube again. That's why I'm doing this video. Bit of a talky, so a bit boring for some people, I know. But if you're interested in what I do, then, yeah, keep watching. Or cut it off now if you're not. Um, yeah, so I've decided, um, because I'm going to retire, so from about March time, I'm going to start trying my best. Can't say I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try my best to do some kind of daily vlog. Mm, yeah, might not be to everyone's taste, but there'll be car shit involved. You know, I'll be doing car stuff. I mean, Christ, we've still got that here. <laughs> no, I'm uh, going off on a bit of a tangent here, but I'm still quite excited to get that done. That's That's got to come along pretty soon. So hopefully there'll be some more videos on that pretty soon as well before I retire. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do some kind of daily vlog um, retirement life, you know. So you'll see firsthand how well it's going. I I'll give you warts and all, you know, if um, I'm having a bit of money trouble, I'll tell you. You know, it's uh, could you do it? Could you retire? It'll make you think. There's a lot of things going on in this world and uh, I love all this conspiracy stuff. And I think there's a lot in it. There's a lot in this conspiracy stuff. I've been knee deep in it for months and months and months now. And yeah, I, I'm, it's, it's woken me up really. There's a lot of stuff that I know now that I didn't know before. <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway, that's on another tangent. So yeah, um, daily vlog type thing. This isn't going to be no sort of Charlie Veach um vlog if you know who charlie veach is if you don't look him up on youtube he's a guy walks around manchester tells you everything you need to know he's a great guy so if anyone watches this who knows charlie tell him i mentioned him because he's a good guy he really is a good guy anyway um yeah another tangent again so yeah i'm, I'm going to try and do this sort of daily vlog um like i say there'll be car stuff in it there, there'll be boring days there there'll be this pouring hard outside i can't get outside to do a car um you know so I, i'll be taking you through you know what's going on in my life so let me know what you think drop us a comment and uh tell me if you think retirement's a crazy idea at 50 um just tell me what you think you know if uh if you think yeah go for it give us some uh give us some support show me what you think Anyway, I've rattled on now for just over nine minutes. I suppose this is getting a bit boring. But yeah. Yeah, big step in life really, isn't it? So I've actually got my mum's support as well, which phew, means a lot. So yeah. Yeah, here we go. The next step, eh? Right. Okay. Well, like I say, I've rattled on for nine and a half minutes now so uh that's it i'm gonna go it's say it's six o'clock in the morning i'm down the garage just so i don't disturb the family um okay i'm off and hopefully see you quite soon bye for now